Hello and welcome everyone back to fifth grade math for today. We are on week three, day one. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so question number one says 43 times 16. Okay, so my favorite way to multiply is using the lattice method. So I'm gonna set my problem up over here using the lattice method. Sorry, it's not very pretty here. Uh, I'm gonna put my diagonals. Okay, and I have 43 times 16. Okay, so three times one is three. One times four is four. Three times six is 18. And six times four is 24. Okay, so I'm gonna add up my diagonal. So I have eight. Four and three is seven, plus one more is eight, and two plus four is six. Okay, I can also check my answer using the standard algorithm. So I have 43 okay, times 16. Six times three is 18, carry the one. Six times four is 24, plus one more is 25. And if I carried my two, I would just bring it down here. Okay, so we're done here. We're gonna cross that one out so I don't get confused. Okay, we're gonna bring down our placeholder zero. One times three is three, and one times four is four. And I'm gonna add that up. Eight plus zero is eight. Five plus three is eight, and two plus four is six. So either way that you choose to multiply, your answer or your product should be 688. All right, let's move on to the second question. Jacob and Dustin collected 245 cans for the school can drive. They gave 55 cans to Dustin's little sister to take her class. How many cans does this leave for the boys class? All right, I like to always go in, I circle my numbers, and then I like to underline any keywords that's gonna help me figure out um, how to set my problem up. So they, they started with 245 cans, and then they gave the cans away. So that means I'm subtracting. So let's set up our problem. So I have 245 and we're gonna subtract 55. Notice how I'm lining everything up by its place value. Okay, five minus five is zero. Four minus five, I cannot do that. So I need to borrow um, from the two, okay? Uh, that leaves me with one here in the hundreds place. And I'm gonna bring this over here and I'm gonna make that a 14. Now I can subtract. So 14 minus five, so 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, and nine, okay? And I'm gonna bring down that one. So the boys have 190 cans, okay, left. All right, so another fraction problem. I love addition and subtraction with fractions, um, even though it's a lot to do. Um, let's erase and get some more room over here. All right, so you know I like to use um, my strategy of four square. Again, it just helps me to organize my thinking so I can make sure that I follow every step that I need to follow to solve this problem. Okay, it's a lot of work, but it is worth it so I can get the correct answer. All right, here we go. So I have five twelves. Okay, plus one fourth. I'm gonna draw my four square. I'm gonna use this whole entire space. Um, and I'm looking at my denominators because now I need to find the least common denominator, right? So we have four and we have 12. I'm gonna find the multiples. So four, eight, 12, 16, and 20. I'm gonna stop right there for now. If I need to go further, I can. Okay, 12, 24, 36. And I'm gonna stop right there for now because I see a number that they both have in common and it's their least common denominator and that is 12, okay? So looking at my fractions, which one needs to change? 
the one fourth, right? So I'm gonna keep 512 how it is because the denominator is already 12. Now the one fourth needs to change. I need to change that to 12. What multiplied by four will give me 12? Well, you can go back here, one, two, three, four times three. Now remember, whatever I do to the denominator, I must also do to the numerator. So I'm gonna also multiply the numerator by three. So my new fraction, I um, multiply straight across is three twelfths. I'm not done yet, right? I'm still in this little section. Um, so I need to um, go ahead and add here. So three twelfths, we just renamed the fraction in this box and I can um, solve it here in the last step. So uh, five plus three is eight and the 12 stays the same. But I'm not done because I can actually simplify this fraction. Um, what number goes into both eight and 12? Well, look up here, four has eight and 12 in it. Um, so that is, um, I wanna go ahead and divide by four. Okay, um, eight divided by four, that's gonna give me two and 12 divided by four is gonna give me three. And that is my final answer, okay? All right, the next um, problem and the last problem for today, it says write three and six in tenths in word form. And exactly how I said it is how I'm gonna write it, All right? So we can write it over here, three, I like to write in cursive, sorry, I have really bad handwriting, but my cursive looks a little bit better. Three and six tenths, okay? And that is with a TH on the end, all right? Why did I use and? Because that and tells me that there is a decimal there, all right? And that is it for today. I will see you tomorrow.